Today we are going to learn about a new artist named Reggie Laurent and I'll show you some of his paintings in a minute. We are going to create a collage using the same kind of style he uses with bold colors and organic shapes and um, create this collage. This is modern artist Reggie Laurent. He painted colorful, abstract, vibrant paintings filled corner to corner with colorful shapes. His process begins by taking different shapes of canvases. Sometimes it was circular, sometimes triangular, sometimes rectangular. It was always black to start. Then he used white paint to add shapes to his canvas. After the paint dried, he took different colors and added the colors to each of the shapes. And finally, he put the patterns on each shape. To unify his paintings, he sewed white lines around all the different shapes. Reggie Laurent used lots of different sizes of canvas. He used large ones, small ones, round ones, triangle ones. I have a piece of black paper here that's a rectangle and I think I'm gonna keep it, but if you wanted to make yours different, if you wanted to do a circle or a triangle, you could go ahead and do that. Just make sure you use a tracer and get a nice clean shape. Your next step is to start Organic shapes are kind of free flowing. I'm gonna kind of do mine like a puzzle. Make some large, some small. After you're done with this, you're going to use some of your coloring materials. You could be using um, markers, crayons, oil pastels. I'm going to use some oil pastels. And I want you to color inside your shapes. But when you do that, leave a border of white along here. And we'll put a pattern around the edges. You are using um, any of your coloring supplies. Remember, he used very bright, vibrant colors in his artwork, so choose those. Now we're going to do different patterns on our um, white border. A few different colors.
When you are done, you can grab your scissors and start cutting out all these shapes. Take your time and stay on the line. All right, now that you have your shapes all cut out, clear that out of the way, get your background canvas and let's start arranging our shapes, getting them close together, but not overlapping. We need to leave some space in between. When you have the arrangement you like, you can go ahead and glue your shapes down. You can use your glue stick or your Elmer's glue bottle. I just glue around the edges, leaving a little bit of uh, finger space so all the glue doesn't come squirting out. If you find that you didn't have enough shapes, you can always make some more. Or you could cut your background paper into a smaller shape. All right, now, the last thing we're going to do is thread, sew our piece together, as he would say, so using white, I'm gonna use a white pencil, or you could use a white oil pastel, maybe I'll do an oil pastel, or a white crayon, or if you have like a silver Sharpie, you could do that. Anyways, you're gonna sew your shapes together with lines. And this is just gonna unify the artwork. And it's not really a scribble. It's a thoughtful line, swirling, twirling, only on the black paper. And there you have your Reggie Laurent abstract collage.